and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action Tarek gonna be our next action deck uh, this one we're gonna have uh, you know a lot of support a uh, lot of targeting, of course, with uh, action, which is also good for Tarek. Because every time that you target your allies, when Tarek's in play, you're leveling it up. It needs to see seven targets or supports to level up. We're going to have a lot of gems. Uh, we're going to have three Metro the Stones, three Mountain Goat, and three Gift Giver. So lots of gems to be able to help out both of our champions. That's going to be our main way of targeting. We also got a spicy one up here. We got two copies of Boomerang Blade for this deck. Now, this is a real spicy one with Tarek because Boomerang Blade just says one ally just strikes the strongest and weakest enemies. So you're only targeting that ally. So if you put that on a Tarek, you have your Tarek strike the strongest and the weakest enemy. And then Tarek will copy that spell over because that is just the one target. So you can copy that over to something else and then that thing will immediately strike the strongest and weakest enemies again. So really, really cool, um, you know, how those two work together. And then if it's if it's um, an action that you're uh, copying it over, you get three things for your Warlords cards because you get the target and two strikes for your action. So yeah, that could be really cool. So we're gonna try to, to have that work. We're also gonna have these bruisers in here that are gonna make be making the lucky finds. And of course the lucky finds are just gonna count as more targets and they'll help out your Taric and your action as well. We have Sparklefly to, to buff up. So we have some Nexus healing here. We have some lifesteal. Uh, that's always gonna be clutch getting that in here. And then that's kind of about it. A couple of Bastions for protection, which are good with, with Taric and an Astral protection. Cause this is just an underrated card at protecting Taric in action and uh, things like that, especially if we like some bless vigor action and then it takes some damage and then you get to astral protection, all that, all that kind of stuff. One Arbor of the Peak to be a, a big overwhelm threat later. All right, so let's give it a try. Action Tarek should be a lot of fun. It's going to be our second of four action decks today. Okay, so we got a Bandle Tree deck. We can't really destroy Landmark, can we? So... Bandle Tree could be a problem. Looking for our champions. So we have our... Uh, this is going to be donation deck week. I'm playing all donation decks all week. We have our cosmetics goal down here for just to help support how buying all these cosmetics. If you're enjoying the videos, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, consider uh, donating to the channel. There's a donate link in the video description. And if you donate $10 or more, you can have a donation deck played on stream and I'll make a YouTube video of it and you can either give me the code or tell me a deck to build you can do either way just put that in the donation description so I guess we're gonna have to some bless vigor the goat because they're gonna block the goat of course I kind of want to keep the goat alive Alright, I don't have the man for the other one. Sparklefly! Let's go! Grab my hat! Comb my mustache! Man, this is a great start for them. Yeah, this is just perfect. Loping telescope on three, may or on two, mayor on three, mayor on four, now zero mana, loping telescope. This is just living the bandle dream right here. <laughs> telescope, making telescope. Oh, no, no, Mayor made this telescope. It's good to be the king. Seems completely fair to me. So we take the damage because we need to, if we're going to be, oh, I was afraid of that. They didn't do that last round, right? So I didn't think that they had that card because they didn't do that last round, but they must have just drawn it. Because I, I wanted like gem the sparkle fly. Uh, we need to have some 
you know, take some damage for us to heal damage. Man, and they have ban the Bandle Tree. This is just a nightmare. So while I know I could have Gift Giver trade with the two ones, maybe I just should. I, I also kind of think, kind of expect... You know, I expect they're going to be playing, like, multiple things out here, and so, like, that they would maybe have to cover up the Loping Telescope anyway. So rude. My oh, poor boomerang blade. Pup, you wanna come up here? Do I have to? Oh. Wanna come say hi everybody? Say hi everybody. This is not the way. Stolen coin. All right, bye, pup. You best believe I hmm. Play. I'm ready to shine. That thing blocks elusives. So they're at five out of ten right now. Still five out of ten. They played Freljord in Battle City already. They had the Omen Hawk. That was Freljord. I guess we could play Bruiser over Mountain Goat. It's time to shine. Bag loop. Still have a very good attack. Huh. I guess that's a thing. Interesting, interesting. Vandal Tree's only at six right now. Ready, scout? Let's take to the skies. Now it's seven. Tarek, like, Overwhelm. Tough Challenger Spell Shield. Kind of like the Challenger. Tough's going to make it a better blocker, Challenger a better attacker. Let's go Tough. Hmm. 
Makes it difficult for them to attack. I'm not sure how we're getting that nine point of damage in right now. This is rather dull. I see an opening. Uh, you live it. Permanent six health. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Right now we want to find we probably want to draw the absolver. Right, that's like our best draw. You cannot run from absolution. All right, Pill Cascade is not bad either. But the Absolver, yeah, the Absolver gives overwhelm. Gotta hope no mini morphs. This is a lot of overwhelm damage we got coming in as long as they don't have mini morph. Don't have mini morph, come on. Hopefully not. I guess they may have a three damage thing for the Arbiter. Okay, I think that's still exactly lethal, right? Exactly lethal, got him. These gems aren't All right, not bad. Yeah, that was a dream start for that Bandle deck, wasn't it? With the the first four rounds with the double mayor. It's still coming out on top. That was a good win. Now, this is going to be the aggressive version that's going to be, like, all killing us and stuff. Yeah, they were they were more... You know, the last one was Bandle Tree, not Aggro. This one, Aggro. This one, Burn. You won't get past me. Okay. So I want to get this Warlord's Palace started. Um, this isn't as good if they play Stone Stackers. You know, like if they have Stone Stackers, I'd rather have the Mountain Goat. But hopefully not. For the Empire. Ah, or even that thing. For the glory of Noxus. Man, great start. I'm at 15, round 2. And now they get to attack? Yuck. It is not a challenge. What wondrous discoveries await below? I'll do better this time. Hey. Kind of planning on this casting this grappling hook, but I suppose hopefully they play Poppy here. I get to grappling hook. So 
Plus, if I didn't do that, we could have had like Vagabond plus Gift Giver. And they played around that well. Sparkle fly. Sparkle fly. Noxion Fervor is just the problem, right? Like, I would like to Siphoning Strike right here. But then they Fervor. And that's a problem. So maybe we can just play this Bruiser. Bruiser's a good blocker. Rex goes bag She gets. Well, aren't we an odd couple? Oh, come now. Are you living? Conchologist is good. Yeah, now I can't even play this lucky fine. So if they have decimate, I lose. I can't stop decimate. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Yeah, that conchologist pull probably won them this game. Seven. What does that thing do? It explodes, of course. Go ahead, like the fuse. Still worried about fervor as far as like siphoning strike is concerned. I guess I could have some blessed vigor to protect afterwards, but so we siphoning strike there, heal to. How are we really winning though? Maybe if I go action, absolver, absolver. It's my, my best play. Man, they have Fervor also? That makes life really bad. Look at them shaking in their boots. I can't wait to see what this one does. I mean, I think we have like these things that can, they can try, you know, like I, I think we need to keep a Sparkle Fly alive. Sparkle Fly alive. And then with our champions, we do have like these things that can help against champions. Kind of. Kind of help against champions. Steal from the rich and give to the us. Right 
They definitely should have fervored. So they, they did have fervor. They definitely should have fervored before damage. Last round. These don't help. I need like a plus two, plus zero type card, you know. Um, yeah, none, none of these matter. Doesn't. I don't draw a card with the Bell Cascade right now. But we gain one life and go to three. There's not a big difference between three and two. Are you kidding me? Man, they drew really well. All right, so good match. I think most times we're winning that, but... Like, like action, the Riven version that we played before, that looked pretty rough against that deck, but that, how that played out, I think that that's one that we'll win a good amount of the time, but, you know, we didn't win that game, but I think that could be a good matchup for us. I mean, I like Tarek and Spells. We're gonna need other stuff, though. Yeah, it was a good match. They were victorious, but it was a good match. Mystical levitation requires concentration. I think this is acceptable. Like, this should just trade with something and then put the gems in our hand. So they have a ton of spells. Was that was that four choices? They have a ton of spells coming up. Just as I suspected. Looks like they are a station archivist deck. Through and through. Oh, come on. Did the strike? Okay. Alright, that's not so bad. I definitely did not want them to hit the bruiser. Seems to have worked out pretty well for them so far. That gun looks expensive. Can I hold it? No. No, I mean I'm not attacking with Eric there. But yeah, didn't get to with it. Another clue. <laughs> Your funeral. Could definitely see them having um, one, two, three. Definitely see them having uh, what's it called, ravenous flock. So I was planning on going grappling hook, but maybe maybe we just go triple gem on the bruiser and protect bruiser. Oh, I guess they they did make me discard my other Tarek. Yeah, oh, we're gonna go grappling hook. They have flock. They can they can kill one of those two. I expect they have flock. Everyone should have a grappling hook.
Oh, man. They, just don't, they don't have the things to kill anymore with that, but... Man, that would've been cool. Alright, so you got three. Four. Oh, I guess I should go the other way, shouldn't I? No, this is fine. This is fine. I can't get scorched earth or flocked or anything like that anymore. You cannot run from absolution. It's still. Because oh, it's a 3 5 normally. I could bring out a nice 5 2. Sandstone Charger, but let's take another card. Back up Tarek. I am the protector of the mountain. Alright, so these two can't take damage or die, so no score shirts, ravenous flocks, and nothing like that to, to kill those things. So I would have grabbed the 5-2, it would be threatening lethal. I just have... Down to 6. Alright, we got him down to 2. Cosmetics goal, yes, that is... Um, donation gold to help pay for the cosmetics in this game. Basically, every time that I, like, you know, the cosmetics are kind of expensive in this game. Every time that I, let's go spell show. That I, you know, put put in what like a hundred dollar deposit to uh, purchase all the different cosmetics in this game. Like whenever they bring stuff out, uh, then I put up a, a donation goal to help with that. Okay, so that's going to do six. I think I'm going to just let this happen and play new Taric. And then work towards protecting new Taric. Each life a rare jewel. reflects the beauty of our world. Each is made in your name, Protector. Lock deal two. Right, that thing deal two. Alright, that will do. Good win. Two and one. Got to really show off the power of Tarek there. We had that crazy turn. Darkness control. Okay, we're gonna definitely want to copy over, like, kind of have the same game plan that we just had, like copy over Pale Cascade with Tarek, be able to draw multiple cards like that. Um, I could see sending back this Gift Giver. Like maybe the one-two body just doesn't matter that much. We're gonna want, you know, better threats. Definitely gonna want action. What's that noise? The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Gems are great against Hapless Aristocrat. Please don't have that 3 2 just pass. Yeah. Alright, so they'll Vile Feast. So they're gonna block Goat and Vile Feast Goat. That's okay, we got more goats. Pokey stick is the same thing as Vile Beast. Boomerang Blade. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Gotta get this palace started.
Oh god, donation! From Tolly Zoo for a spruced up, spruced up an old fun deck. Thank you so much for that $10 donation. That's the thing, if you want to, if you donate $10 or more, I will play your deck this week. We are doing donation deck week. We're playing all donation decks. That gets us to 70 out of 100 for our goal, for our cosmetics goal. Thank you very much, Tolly Zoo. I can play Tarek right now and then play Boomerang Blade next round, but we don't have any kind of protection from Mini Morph or Vengeance. Maokai Quinn is the combo for that deck. <laughs> That's awesome. Maokai Quinn. Well, I'm not sure if it gets copied. So we would strike the strongest and weakest. We'd strike the 1 1 and the 3 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, wait, how many cards do we have? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, so I can't really get more cards. Do it. I was planning on playing Tarek next round and then having enough mana for Bastion also. We'll see. You see, that's, that's that exact amount. I would like to play a gem here. I bring clarity. That's unfortunate. Now Tarek's big enough to kill Vagar. We could do the goat, but the goat would... The goat would make the two gems, and I don't really want to make two gems right now. Making him surrender. How about that? Because I didn't do the math, but I think we might have been able to attack for lethal. I hadn't quite done the math yet. I think we might have been able to attack for lethal the next round with both of them be can't take damage or die. Poppy Brom. And Boomerang Blade coming through clutch. I kind of want to keep the siphoning strike, not going to lie. Because it's so cool whenever it works. But they are a Freljord deck, so they like troll chant and stuff like that. Especially a Braum deck. I guess we'll send it back. Alright, let's keep the spell mana. Yeah, let's keep the spell mana to go along with action. Because we're definitely wanting to play action round two. Because we want to get this Warlord's Palace started. It's not great. It's not great. Vandal Commando looking good. Spark 
Sparkle Fly. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Sparkle Fly across the sky. Still be able to play the Hungry Owl Cat post combat for zero mana. Thanks to the mayor. You cannot run from absolution. What else we got? And go grab a Taric. No, we should probably get Taric. Righteously reclaiming. This is justice. Spraying and praying. Spraying and praying indeed. Blocking the Sparkle Fly. They may not have room for everything they want to play. Maybe not. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Loping telescope seems like a pretty fair card. This the thing we could we could have played loping telescope ourselves. We are a Targon deck. Could be playing that like instead of the mountain goat. The goats look pretty good. Getting us a bunch of gems. No, 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 no. Astral protection, astral protection. Oh, okay, boomerang blade. That's still not great. Man, I would have loved to boomerang blade next next round with Tarek. Would love to do that. So I think they had two normal telescopes and they had Vandal City Mayor make a telescope. Gem you up. They say these were from the protector himself. Never submit. I guess you know I don't have the plus two plus two spell shield. If I would have astral protection like the action first, then I could plus two plus two spell shield them. Turn here at five out of seven. That would have been a reason to do that. So do I want to do that, or would I rather just draw two? Maybe just draw two. We wouldn't get the re we you not we wouldn't get Tarek back if we did the resurrection thing because Tarek didn't die, you know, like a seal died or whatever many morph makes a manatee or whatever it is. That's what died, not Tarek. Mm. 
Everyone should have a grappling hook. Cruiser. I really want to use the Vagabond right here without getting that the Warlord's Palace. And maybe we just throw these things in front for some blockers somewhere. We're doing pretty good as long as they don't have Bandle Tree. I don't really see them killing us without Bandle Tree. So this thing should have... Seven health? Take a peek at life beneath the waves. Gens are superb, but they're bad for the teeth, though. I think my plan is kind of to give this plus two plus two. This is justice. It's kind of my plan. Could have this one two just attack, just to attack. Get blocked by the two two. Let me show that one-two attack. Okay. It's gonna make life difficult. Ten ten challenger. I would like action to strike again so we can start another Warlord's Horde. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Justice was fun. We really need Tarek. Alright, we found Tarek. I can't play you yet, because I can't have Tarek die to Braum. Nothing fun is ever easy. I don't really have to block with everything. There is still time to surrender. Just say, oh, please don't kill me, Akshan. Good thing we didn't try to absolve or kill Braum, because that troll chant would have messed us up. So now I can... If we want, now we could try that. You can thank me later. 
Come on, pass. Oh. Alright, well, we got that out of their hand. Now we'll have the spell shield plus two plus two. I bring clarity. Oh, I guess I should just play the Vagabond. No, because I need this lucky find. This thing's still a spell shield. That thing just gets in the way of, of this boomerang blade real bad. Because, like, if I boomerang blade, like, we do 7 to Braum, which doesn't do anything, and then take out spell shield here, and then, you know, we copy it over 7 to Poppy, and, or, you know, 6 to Poppy, and spell shield here, right? And, like, then kill the 3 1. It's just not a very good boomerang blade. Makes it better. Not sure, it necessarily makes it good, but makes it better. still take damage or die, right? Like, I'm a little short of that. So they can trade with action, or with Tarek, you know, with, like, Poppy or, or Braum. Either one can trade with Tarek. We have more of these things going, though. I'm at 17 cards left. There are 21 cards left. Up, Tarek. Turning on the nightfall for Pill Cascade. I feel this by sword. Good luck. Have fun. Hammer to the world below. They only have three cards. Be nine thirteen. Nine thirteen means it stays alive. Just one more target to level up, Tarek. They're busting up spell shield and then turning it into a one six. Alright, so the good news is that's all the cards in their hands. That's the good news. Also, their Braum doesn't level up. I'm keeping this to be a draw two next round. Doesn't really do anything right there anyway.
Okay. I'm gonna give another... We can give another plus two, plus two spell shield. Nah, let's draw two. Oh, then we don't get the target for that. <laughs> or we don't, you don't, we don't get both of them. We must protect the peak. I will dispatch the unworthy. Shatter them. Approach. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to mentor the stones over the warlord's horde. You say we do it, Kordak? Support what? Support the Mentor of the Stones with, with Tarek? Alright, yeah, chat saying Mentor overboard. So you're saying Tarek go to Mentor and then Mentor go to Sparklefly, but don't we like want Mentor to die? I think I actually I think I want Mentor to die. I think I don't want those two things to die. Okay, your line... Okay, so yeah, you're saying lethal attempt because then we put the, the Pill Cascade on the Mentor of the Stone so it has two power. And so the two of these together is seven and they have three blockers and they can go block, block, block on these three and they would take seven. My line right now, they're taking six and going to one. I got you. So they haven't been playing... Like, you know, they just drew this card, of course. They haven't played it at all as like a unit, so we can kind of assume it's some kind of spell. Ten power. Try to take this down. Everyone should have a grappling hook. Okay. We're looking good. We got a lot of stuff. They don't have nearly as much stuff. And they surrender. We're at twenty, they're at one. Vengeance with a smile. GG's. All right, a very nice four and one record here with Action Tarek. Definitely liked this deck. I really liked all these gems to go along with both of our champions. And we saw the card advantage. Man, Action can get so much card advantage if you can keep Action alive and uh, get more of these Warlord's Hordes. We did, what, four Warlord's Hordes that game, I think? Because we did like two first, and then we did one with the, the plus, maybe five. We either did four or five of these Warlord's Hordes. That's crazy. That was just so much card draw, having those all the time. And I think we did we did multiple palaces also because of Vagabond putting in palace. So crazy game. We even got to do our, our we finally got to do the boomerang blade combo with the Taric. They kind of helped out a little bit there that last game also. Um, you know, getting the, the double strike in, like that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. Awesome, awesome deck here. And we had the lifesteal, right? The lifesteal is very important with the sparkle flies. Uh, in different matchups. So we only lost that first game that was super close that our opponent th against the burn deck, like where they drew really, really well um, and, you know, kept top deck and burn spells and stuff. Like, um, that was our only loss. So the, not a bad showing at all. Like, that was that was one that, remember, afterwards we were saying that did seem like kind of a decent matchup. So pretty cool deck here. You're looking for a Taric deck? 
definitely give this one a try. Action Tarek. Awesome. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And if you are giving this a try, let me know in the comment section. Let me know how it's going for you. Um, but everybody else, just leave some other comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. All right, but uh, that's it for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.